18 so, years I've been searching for the information you gave me in a day. Tell me what brought you here from Hawaii. Um, I'm in chronic constant pain. Um, just lots of tension, muscle spasms, headaches. I've had migraines and it's been going on for a long time and I came across your videos and that's how I ended up here. So you're here for the past couple of days and we ran you through the, the screen, mm -hmm. the neural occlusion screen protocols. What did you think? What did it do for you? It was shocking. The, the diagnosis, just knowing what I have wrong with me, yeah. but it, it was good to know that it's not in my head, that I'm not a stress case, that yeah. I have some legit problems going on in my joints. Yeah, it, sure. I was very well informed coming here. Right. So. so the MRIs and the CTs, had you run into that kind of interpretation from the imaging before? Or never. Was, yeah. No, never. no one has ever looked at my joints in my neck and everything. How about the explanations that you received in the past? Were they different than what you saw here? Absolutely. It was like, here, here's some drugs to take, right. you know, muscle relaxants, or here's a piece of plastic to bite on the rest of your life. Oh, and by the way, don't stress. Yeah. Yeah. No one has ever looked at my actual joints before. The structures and Yes. And how, where my discs are and yeah. Because mm -hmm. most dentists don't know what they're doing. They kind of just throw pharma drugs at you or get you to bite on a plate forever. <laughs> and do the same thing with every patient. <clears throat> yes. For the most part, most do. Right. Yeah, so the, the big deal about the screening, the neural occlusion screening, is that we and others that were teaching about this, we're basing all of our treatment on diagnosis, which is measured. Yes. In other words, we're putting numbers to things. Yeah. You had multiple diagnoses. <sighs> it wasn't just one thing. It was six or seven things. It was crazy. Yeah. Everything that was wrong with me. And how many of those have you been told about before? Nothing. No. Yeah. I have, no one's ever told me where my discs are sitting, my mandible being short on one side, my jaw being over to the left, the right a little bit. Uh -huh. um, I'm bone really on good. bone on this side. And imagine if I did redo my teeth. Yeah. And I had this going on. And it broke Who down knows further. how much pain I would be in the future? And so how much money you'd be out. I know. True. Yeah, it was an aha moment to realize there's a neurologic reaction to where my teeth are and my joint is. Uh -huh. Like it's uncontrollable. And that actually brought me peace because when someone's telling you you're crazy and it's in your head and you're you need therapy and I'm like, my jaw's popping. Do you need to hear it? They're making you crazy. And then it, the pop, it, what do they tell you about your pop? Because you have a profound pop. What do they say about that? They ignore it. We injected you with Botox to try to, you know, help relax the muscles of mastication for, yes. for a time. You know, we used minimal amounts and we based the amount, the dosage, based on your electromyography, your EMG readings. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, one side is more hyperactive than another. Yeah. So the side that received more uh, Botox was the one that was most hyper. Yes. The one that had less hyperactivity was given less of a dosage. Yeah. That you makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So hopefully you'll feel a little bit better. Yeah, it's just about p pain management now until yeah. I get to see Dr. Piper. And when Piper sees yeah. you, he's going to really go over that list, make sure it's complete, and start treating you appropriately. He's also a physician. He's not just a dentist. Fight or flight response, basically, on you is ramped up. Oh, yeah. And is that not fair? You described to me your typical day like you can't relax. I can't relax. Right. And at night... I mean, I can't control what I do in my sleep. And I've literally woken my husband up with the sound of my clinking teeth. Yeah. And it's it's scary to not be able to relax. Yeah. It's, no it's fun. painful. It's painful. And then, mm -hmm. like, even your emotions, the, you know, what it does to you psychologically, being in pain all the time yeah. is terrible. And then nobody terrible. acknowledges that you really have a problem. They're telling you that you're, you're full of it. You don't have a problem. Yes. Yeah. That's classic. Never seen that combo before, that's for sure. Trigeminal, so. cervical, and sympathetic. Wow. All TMJ patients, quote unquote TMJ, have those three inputs. Words of wisdom? Um, go to Dr. Yanios. <laughs> he will help you. Well, And leave you informed, at, at least, least. Get you informed. Yeah. Yeah, we can't always treat them, but we can usually help them on the right path, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay.